Hi, I am Pixel Pia. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can collaborate using Descript. So let's move over to my computer. There are basically two ways to collaborate. One way is to invite people to your drive. And the other one is to share a project you are working on. So let's start by looking at the drive here. Up here you see my drive and next to it is a little person with a plus sign. It says add member. All you have to do is to put in an email address here and it will send an invitation. You have two types, basic and editor. They have different functions. It's important to know if you invite someone as an editor, it will cost you the same fee as you now pay for yourself. So if you are on a $15 a month account, inviting one editor will cost you $30 per month, while the basic is free. So let's take a look at the differences between the two. So here we are. Three types of members. Editor member, basic member, and the drive owner. Let's take a look at the other two. I will go through the basic. And you can assume that the editor can do the things the basic can do and the things that is a no for the basic, unless I say something different. So create quick recordings of any duration. Yes, the quick recording function is for everybody. Create projects. Yes, they can, but only in their private workspace. And with the same limitation as a free account, only up to 720p and all the other things that the free account comes with. Edit projects and quick recordings. They can only go in and edit their own project. For the editor, it says only projects owned by editor member. That means that I, as a drive owner, must in my project that I want my editor to be able to work on, I must assign them to the editor. And I will show you a little later how to do that. View or comment on other drive members project. Everybody can do. Duplicate projects. For the basic, you can only duplicate over five minutes or with added layers. Yes for editor, no for the basic. Export or publish other drive members projects no for the basic yes for the editor share or transfer ownership of their projects no for the basic yes for edit move projects no for the basic create overdub voices yes create templates no for the basic user yes for the editor invite other drive members the basic member can invite other basic members. The editor can invite basic members and editor members, but as a drive owner, you can have it set so that invite if an editor invites another editor, it has to be approved by you. And that is because it will cost you more money. Initiate transcription. A basic member can only do that on their own. While the editor can do that on a project that you as an owner have set as owned by editor members. Contribute to monthly automatic transcription limits. No for the basic. And yes for the editor. And how many minutes you have per month depend on what level you are on. An additional cost per seat. Cost nothing for the basic and yes, and it's paid by the owner for the editor. 
and the cost is the same as your account. So let's go back to how we do this. Add and purchase. That is for editor. If I just want to add a basic member, I just click there, put in an email address and click add and team member invited. So if I go in here in my drive and look at member, you see that it's me as an owner and I have invited this person as a basic member. They haven't accepted the invitation yet, but when they do, they will be invited as well. And as I said, with the limitations that I just talked about, but there is also another way of sharing and collaborating. So let's take a look at that now. So now let's say that I want someone to look at this project without being a member of my drive. So we open the project here. Here we have the project text to image. And if I want someone to just be able to give me some pointers on what to change before I finish with this, I can go up here to publish as a web link, max resolution, anyone with the link can access settings. I want them to show the transcript, allow comments and show author. I don't want to allow sharing for embeds or I don't have publish branding set. So I hit publish. And if I now click on this little symbol here for the link, it will open my browser. Here you see the video and the transcript. And let's say that I share this link. I can copy this link and email it or text it to someone and ask them to take a look at this and give me their opinion. So now if I want to leave a comment here, I put my marker where I want to leave the comment. I go up to the little speech bubble and I write my comment here, add B-roll here. And then maybe something down here. I put my cursor where I want the comment and say too much background noise. So let me close that and now I'm back in my D script and if I now go to this URL, I click the little speech bubble and now I can see who has left comments and if I click on the comment, it highlights here and move on the timeline exactly to where the change it should be done. It is time step. So by publishing a content and sharing that URL with people, you can get someone to leave their input on your video. Maybe you sharing ideas back and forth or just trying different things. This is not to give people the possibility to edit. For that, you have to have an editor and you have to pay for it. But if you just want someone to look at what you're working with and leave their opinions, this is a real easy way where you don't have to send links back and forth or have a online meeting. So those are the two ways of sharing and getting input. On your work. One, add people to your drive either as basic or as editors and remember if you add an editor you have to pay the price or add as a basic member. So now you can share your project and get input or maybe even have someone else become your editor and go in and do the work for you. I hope this was helpful. Until next time. Bye.